as I said before in a video, what, yesterday, this week, whatever. My neighbors don't know that I'm a millionaire. And this is the difference in thinking between myself and my neighbors. My neighbors are wonderful people, but they think poor. Their mindset is poor. I had one of my neighbors, I told him, I said, yeah, well, he, he could see that I got a new car. I, I get my lease every uh, two and a half, two and three quarter years when it's up. And <clears throat> I had my new car. And my neighbor said to me, well, how many miles did you have on it when you got rid of it? I said I had about uh, 16,000 miles. He looked at me astonished and shook his head left and right in a big negative sign. He says, you got rid of a car at 16,000 miles? He says, it's not even broken in yet. Well, I just smiled because I already did it. I already had the car, the new one. But this is called poverty thinking. Poverty thinking, and I had it when I was younger. I didn't escape it. Poverty thinking says you are supposed to drive your car until it wears out. Get your money's worth out of it. That's poverty thinking. My neighbor didn't understand that I could afford to change cars at 16,000 miles. That's, that's what he missed, and that's, I won't tell him. <laughs> the other neighbor, <clears throat> I went to Las Vegas. Well, I just got back from the trip, what, last week. Two days, actually two nights and three days. So two nights, hotel in Las Vegas. And I told my neighbor, I said, I'm going to be gone for a couple days. I'm going to Las Vegas. And she said, you mean that you are going to fly for five or six hours to go to Las Vegas for two nights? And her head just went left and right, left and right. What a waste. She couldn't understand it. Well, this is another neighbor that doesn't know that I'm a millionaire. So I go to Las Vegas for two nights and she doesn't understand the waste because she thinks poor. Thinks poor because when you go to Las Vegas or someplace else, you're supposed to take the maximum amount of time that you're allowed from work, get all the juice out of that vacation because it's going to be a long time before you take another vacation. That's what I call thinking poor. I go to two days, two nights to Las Vegas. I fly five hours either way because I got the time. I got the money. Why shouldn't I? But she doesn't know that I'm a millionaire. So I look foolish to her. But that's okay. Well, that's just examples of thinking poor.